Contraction Practice at Grammar Songs by Melissa. You have learned that contractions are words in the English language. Two words are shortened to make one word, and a special punctuation mark called an apostrophe replaces the missing letter or letters. They are equals there. We use contractions every day when we speak. I'm playing. I don't want to take out the trash. I can't believe we're in the same group. And we can recognize contractions when we read. I'll show you, said the witch. Princess Lauren wasn't happy. It's just not the same, Ribbit. It is important to understand contractions when we read so that we understand what message the author is sending. Let's practice reading some contractions. The pirate didn't find the treasure. Since the word didn't has an apostrophe, it is a clue that the word didn't could be a contraction. So what does didn't mean? What two words could be combined to make didn't? Hmm. Well, this sentence makes me think that the pirate looked and looked when he didn't find the treasure. And I noticed the contraction didn't has the word did in it. So what other word did the author combine with did to form the contraction didn't? The remaining in and t are clues. The pirate did not find the treasure. Arr! The contraction didn't and the words did not have the same meaning. Let's read another sentence. Sasha told me she's coming to the party. Since the word she's has an apostrophe, it's a clue that the word she's could be a contraction. So what does she's mean? What two words did the author combine to make she's? Hmm. I noticed the contraction she's has the word she in it. So what other word did the author combine with she to form the contraction she's? The remaining S is a clue. Sasha told me she is coming to the party. The contraction she's and the words she is have the same meaning. She's here! Let's dance! We can also use contractions when we write. Let's practice writing some sentences and combining words to form contractions. My dad said I could not go to the park. Did you see any place in this sentence where two words could be combined to form a contraction? Hmm. The words could and not can be combined to form a contraction. Which letter or letters should we cross out? To form a contraction from the words could not, we eliminate the O and in not and put an apostrophe in its place, forming the contraction couldn't. My dad said I couldn't go to the park. You can go to the park now. I can? You did a great job using contractions. Thanks. Hooray! Let's practice reading and writing contractions one more time. Lisa, I'm so sorry you moved away. Please know I will never forget you. Love, Mary. Do you see any place in Mary's letter to Lisa where she used a contraction? Hmm, do you see an apostrophe? This apostrophe is a clue that the word I'm is a contraction. So what does I'm mean? What two words make I'm? The contraction I'm is made from the two words I am. The A in am is eliminated and an apostrophe takes its place, making the contraction I'm. Let's read Mary's letter to Lisa one more time. Lisa, I'm so sorry you moved away. Please know I will never forget you. Love, Mary. Do you see any place in Mary's letter where she could make a contraction out of two other words? Hmm. The words I and will can be combined to form a contraction. 
Which letter or letters should we cross out? To form a contraction from the words I will, we eliminate the W and I and replace them with an apostrophe forming the contraction I'll. Mary's letter now says, Lisa, I'm so sorry you moved away. Please know I'll never forget you. Mary, I'm here for a visit. Hooray! You did a great job using contractions. Congratulations, you did a great job using contractions too. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa.